There have been moments when I've been out shooting landscapes where I've cried because there's things in front of me that I just can't believe are even real. So this competition stands out for me because I think it's just so important to love what you do. My name is Beth Mancuso, and I'm from Zimmerman, Minnesota. At home, we have six kids. We're a big blended family. I have three sons, and my husband has three daughters. We're a Brady Bunch. Bye, Mom! Bye. My children originally inspired me to pick up the camera. I captured a picture of my son, and you know, I could see his eyes, and they were just so piercing. I really felt like I could see like the window of his soul. And I think that from that moment on, I just kind of got hooked. Photography has gotten me through a lot of tough times. For me, it's kind of like my therapy. When my middle son, Ezra, was two, he was diagnosed with leukemia and he had to undergo chemotherapy. There's nothing like thinking that your child might not live. And that really changed me as a person and as a parent. It gave me just such an appreciation for for life um, and for the moments that I get to have, you know, with my children. I think it's made me a better person as well. I do all kinds of photography, mostly portraits and landscape and travel images. I really like to get myself in the frame. It helps show the scale of the environment. For me, it's the ability to freeze time and to capture a moment and know that I'm going to be able to look back on it or that my kids are going to be able to look back on it and that it's going to tell their story. I am so passionate about what I'm doing. I'm so excited to, you know, make this into something more. And I hope that when people see my images that they're inspired to get out and push themselves creatively. I think it's really great that both Mazda and National Geographic want to inspire people through photography. It's such a, you know, world language that we can all speak. I'm just really proud that they chose me and hellbent to do this as a career. I've had some successes over the years. I don't think I ever envisioned this.